Okay, now I want to show you a special special case of the um, the thing we just saw. This shortcut of when I have an a x plus a and x plus b. Okay, and we saw when we multiply this out, we get x squared plus, and then here we get a plus b times x and then our constant term was a times b. Now a special case I want to look at is what if b was the same as a, so it was also a, but it had a negative. In other words we have x plus a and x minus a. Well let's see what happens when I do my shortcut now. Then I get x squared, but when I say a plus b it's now a minus a that will just give me 0. So I get plus 0x and now when I multiply n plus a and negative a I get negative a squared. And just simplifying this because we never write something like that this is just 0. So I can just leave it out completely there's no x's. So I can write it as x squared minus a squared and something that you'll notice here is that we have a square number here and a square number there and in between we will always have a negative. Why will it always be a negative? Because that one is a negative and that one is a positive and positives and negatives will always gives a, give us a negative. So this is called the difference. Now difference in mathematics is subtracting. Difference of two squares. Okay, this is called the difference of two squares. Difference because it's subtracted, two because there's two terms and squares because both of those terms are squared. Now what that means is that it makes the factoring extremely easy if I have something like x squared minus 9. Notice how there's no x term, okay, and notice how the 9 can be written as 3 squared, x squared minus 3 squared. Now with this, this means that this must have been two brackets one with a plus and one with a minus, one with an x, other one also with an x, and both with threes. The one just has a positive three and the other one has a negative three. So that when we do that shortcut to multiply this out, we get x squared. For the middle term we add these two together, but plus three and minus three is just zero, so there's no middle term. And for the final term, the constant term, we just multiply the two. And multiplying that would give me negative nine. That's what I had. Okay, this is called the difference of two squares. And I'll do one more example. Okay, and I'll even make it difficult. How about a hundred x squared minus one? All we need to do is notice that there's two terms, a negative between the two terms, and all of the factors can be written as squares. So a hundred, for example, can be written as ten squared x squared minus 1 times 1 is 1, so 1 can be written as 1 squared. And that would give me two brackets, where the 1 has a 10x, okay, taking away the squares, and multiplying that with another 10x, that's where the 100x squared come from. The 1 has a negative 1, and the other one has a positive 1. Okay, so this is the first time where we actually look at it where there's something in front of the x squared. Usually we had a 1 in front, okay, and now you can see that that 10 that, or 100 that's in front of the x squared is the product of what is in front of the x inside the bracket. But I'll leave that for, uh, for now and uh, um, you go and try some of these on your own and they are very, very common. So good luck in trying some of them.